Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to A Repot With Me. Now, I know I look very insignificant in this frame. It's not usually how I frame my videos, but you would not see any of this guy if I framed this in any other way. So this may not be the most aesthetic frame today, but it's what we're running with because I have a really big, really crispy, large form variegated Monstera Aurea. Now he is crispy, because, well, I think he's crispy because he lives upstairs in the studio, right? I don't have any curtains up there. All I have are blinds. And I like to tilt the blinds in a certain way so that when it's sunny, you get a lot of light in, but you don't get anything sunburned. However, Ben keeps turning the blinds round so that all of the plants in there, no matter what it is, gets almost direct sunlight on the leaves. And it's really pissing me off. So this beautiful Monstera is now sunburned. There's a new leaf here that's come in over the last few days where I actually removed it from the studio and put it sort of outside the studio. But other than that, literally nearly every leaf is crispy and I'm really sad about it. I'm gonna stand back and I'm gonna show you what it looks like, but it's very heavy. I should have probably taken the water out of this. See this? This is probably the best I can do. Let me baby it for a second. There. So this is, well, was the newest leaf. This is the really pretty one that was on Instagram. This is a new leaf coming in now that you probably can't see the color on it properly. Don't actually want to break that there. Um, trust me when I say it's half and half variegated again. But that's the state of the plant. It's very, very sad. Now, in time, it won't matter, obviously, because we'll get new leaves and this big mistake will all be forgotten about. But for now, it's really sad and I hate this. I hate this with variegation. You would think Monstera like this were a little bit tougher against this sort of stuff because the leaves are much thicker, but... I guess not. So I'm pretty sad about that. But why is he here today? He's here today because I'm going to trim him. Well, I'm going to trim bits of crisp off. I'm not really going to trim him. I'm going to check the roots. Hopefully he doesn't need a new pot. I do think I have one lying around, but I'm really not prepared for it. So I probably won't do it. He's going to stay in the same pot. He's got pawn in currently. Don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can. You can see what's going on in there. But I'm basically going to pull him. Oh, I think I mentioned it on my Instagram. I think it was in a post, probably with that new leaf on it, saying I was going to pull him, but it might not work. I will quickly recap why I think it might not work for those of you that maybe didn't see. I think it was the last repot with me I did. So basically, it's hard to explain, but I know this Monstera looks like it's growing kind of like the small form, but it, it, it isn't, right? So this is large form. It's not the same as the small form. A lot of people say that it is the same plant. It's absolute bollocks. It's two separate plants, shall we say. So basically, the best way I can describe it is these plants, when they get growing, they don't really just grow upwards in a, like a viney way. The petioles always stretch out a little bit more horizontally. And quite honestly, when these things get really, really big, you know, like the really, really big leaves, it starts looking a little bit like a tree rather than like a giant vine. Does that make any sense? It's a really good way to tell them apart. Another good way to tell is obviously the holes on the leaves. I don't think you can see any. Does this one not have any holes on it? Oh, that's a shame. The one two leaves ago did. Small form do get those, but just not at the rate that these guys do. They also get much bigger. They get leaves that are about two foot across, whereas small form, you probably get a foot across, but you're certainly not going to get two, three foot across. So there is some differences, and that is why they just don't lend themselves to poles very well. That's not to say you can't have some success. I'm not saying this is going to be a total failure. I just don't think it's going to be a total win. And I don't think it's going to look very good, but we're going to try it. See if I can twist him backwards so you can see the, the shape that he has made. Give me one moment. I'll try not to smack my mic with the leaves. Yeah, is that the back of him? Sort of. He's leaning now, which doesn't help. He started to lean more towards the window when he was up there, and he was starting to get very leany, as you can tell. I've tried to lean him the other way. That's why this leaf is its not quite in the same direction. So we're going to try and put him on this anyway and just see how it goes. I'm really not hopeful, guys, at all. Ooh. <sighs> Don't want to knock leaves off. So I'm going to scoot that round. What I might do is I'm, I think I'm going to have to take... What am I going to do here? I haven't got everything I need, have I? I need a bucket for the pond because I'm going to reuse it. Because honestly, this, this plant hasn't been in this pond very long at all. It's fine. It's fine. And it doesn't really matter, to be honest, if you, if you have your plants in pond too long. It just means there's probably no food left in it. So just feed separately. But I am going to feed it separately today anyway, so it's fine. So let's put this on the floor. Oh my lord, that is so heavy. Oh, that is so heavy. Can I even get this out with my little little crab hands? Can I? Oh guys, I can't. I can't get out of the pot. I can't get out of the pot. I can't get out of the pot. It's so heavy. <laughs> what am I going to do? Oh god, I can't even get my fingers in between the pot. Ow. I'm going to need some help. Give me one minute. Right, I can't get this out of here. I want to drain the water out. I need a bucket for 
pond, but that doesn't matter. You don't need to do that. I just need that inner out of that outer pot. Right, okay. So you just want the, that, the black bit out? Yeah. Right. Well. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, I couldn't get my little finger in without breaking it. Oh. Can you, uh, I can try. You can't, <laughs> pushing it back down. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get up. round because it's so big. <laughs> no one can see anything we're doing either, but. Right, I'm pushing. What the actual. Oh, no shit, my finger. Ah. Um. What about some fucking knives and shit then? No, 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 you're ruining it. No, 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 it. me just to leverage out the... the you're going to snap the plastic. Oh, I don't want you all. It will. Oh, okay. Yeah? Go on in. Alrighty. It's making there bad noises. Look at that. Spoon in my hand. Been to the rescue. Enjoy getting them roots out of there. Oh, man. There Dude, I've tried for like five minutes, so I'm going to have to get bent. Fucking Yeah, I know. I feel like I've broken all my minute. fingers. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, though. Thank you, yeah, no worries. No problem, I'll get back to you some hockey and chocolate biscuits. Right, now that that's done, I now need to get... Right, we need to pick them back up. God, can you see why I just picked this plant for this entire video and nothing else? Seriously. Right, I don't want to stand on the root. Oh, I've probably done it anyway. Okay, this is actually quite full of root. I'm going to see if I've got another pot. No, really, it's... Can you see this? Can you see this? If I show you this. Before we even get started, this is right out the bottom of the pot. I should really be potting up. Do you know I've already been filming 20 minutes? Yes, 20 minutes, because that was so unpredictable. I didn't realize the plant had grown that much. It gets worse because I've just had a look around the entire shop. That's why we've been filming 20 minutes. We've still been rolling. And the only plant pot I could find was this, which is huge. Now, is it too big? Yeah, probably. I mean, it's a Monstera. I know it can handle it. I'll just plant it further up. But it's not white, so it's going to look real weird if it does go back into my studio. And also, when I put it on the table, it gets a bit silly. But we're just going to have to do our best, guys. Again, not the most aesthetic of results that I've ever produced, but here we go. So, okay, the first task is to get this Monstera out of this pot with hopefully minimal loss, because that, that root is actually creeping onto the pot and we need to save all of this pond because we're going to use it. So hopefully that won't be too noisy when we do this, um, but we'll see. I've got a bucket down here that I can use. I'm going to start by bending over with this, and I'm going to just probably try and tip some pond out because... Jesus. There we go. Gently does it. And now it's not sturdy. Right, okay. Okay. This is quite nerve-wracking, I'm not going to lie. Right. I'm trying not to put the feet over where the roots have grown in, but it is very, very difficult. So I've probably crushed some roots just by these feet of the self-watering pot touching that. Not a lot I can do here. Now I'm trying to free this plant up. It's just not having it. <gasps> Guys, this is actually horrific, honestly. I'm going to try and pull it. I don't want to pull it. I've got these lovely, beautiful look white roots. And honestly, this is the only downside of self-watering plant pots that I can really find, if I'm honest with you. It's this. It's when it grows through. Because a normal plastic pot, I mean, it, you know, in a, in a bad situation, you can just cut that, right? You don't need to do this. But obviously, we're not cutting this. So it's like, well, shit, how do I get this out? So you're watching very special live action footage of me probably going to lose quite a few roots on this. I'm going to do my best today to, uh, to not. But that's wedged. Ooh, I think it's actually impossible not to lose this root. Oh, <sighs> that noise was um, total and complete sadness, guys. I've just lost that. I've just lost that. Give me one minute while I get this back up. You know, genuinely today, I had it in mind. I was going to do a really chill video for you guys, and it was not going to have any anxiety at all. It was just going to be so chill. And literally the opposite has happened. The opposite has happened. There's loads of roots just coming off now. Oh my God. It's kind of a two-man job. This, this is probably the last time I decide to do this with a large plant while I'm filming without another person to help because honestly, guys, this is not it. This is just not it. And this leaf is so new. It shouldn't really be, how do you say, ragged around like this. So, right, this is what we're left with. So let's have a conversation about this. <laughs> This was never going to go through the holes, unfortunately, in the bottom of the self-watering pot because although that tiny piece of root 
might have gone through. It was never going to fit all of this mass through those little holes. And honestly, my best advice for anyone that is trying to go for self-watering pots, I still love them, right? I still think they're amazing. But what you have to remember is stuff like this. It's really weird because self-watering pots are both really good for neglectful plant parents, but at the same time, you're going to get this. If you struggle caring for your plants, generally I would say use them. But if you are really one for the root gains and stuff and you're not, you're not always going to be checking that, maybe don't do it. And honestly, I've tried different brands. The insert here, sorry, it's really gross. The Elho insert, I do find that to be better than the Lechuza inserts personally for this sort of stuff but it's really not ideal at all. You just lose root. So if you aren't on it, you're going to have some problems there. But generally, I'm not being funny. Generally, that's a good root mass. So it doesn't it doesn't overly concern me, although that's really sad because these are all beautiful new fresh roots. Can't really put the roots any closer to the camera because I'm about two meters away from it. But that's what we see. I don't feel like I can let go of this plant, you know. I don't feel like I can do it. I might not actually give you the life update today. I think this is a very silly idea. I think today is just going to literally be a chaotic planting a monstera video. And I'll give you the life update in the next repot with me when I can actually talk. Because this is not it, guys. This is not it. Right. Literally, I need to be able to lie this down. This is just silly. Give me one minute. So next task, this here is already set up. It's had another plant in, so I've just rinsed it out really quick. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of pond. Well, I'm going to put a lot of pond in here. But I'm going to get the pole in very quickly, I think. And we're going to just start building up the pond, maybe to like at least two inches above where the water level ends. And the water level ends about here. So we're probably going to do pond to nearly halfway up the pot. You may not see it. I don't think anyone cares to see pond though. Where I put the pole? It's here. Cool. Awesome. So the pole needs to go in first because there are these little round holes at the bottom that you might have caught there and they sit poles in quite well. I don't think that's what it's for. I think it's for the, you know, the water to be able to access the media there. See those holes? I'm just kind of just inserting that into there. Can you see there? Sorry, I'm not tipping it to the camera there. There's two holes. I'm just picking one of them and I'm shoving this in here. This is a Lechuza pot, by the way. This is not the same as the other one. The other one was El Ho. Again, pros and cons of each. Yes, I know I need to do a review, guys. I, I realize this is like two years late, but I will do that at some point. I think I need a little bit of pond in there just to keep that, you know, on the straight and narrow, but I don't have a scoop. So give me one moment. We have a scoop. Hopefully it's not noisy. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit round the base of where this pole is tucked in and I'm kind of pushing it in around the pole. That makes any sense. And then hopefully it might stabilize. Obviously it's gonna stabilize the more substrate we get in and it'll be fine. But uh, I'm gonna to have to hold it there. Is it going to stay? Please. That would be so awesome if you stayed there. Please don't. Just don't. Wow, this video has transformed today, hasn't it? What was supposed to be an update repot has just turned into a battle this monstera with me. Maybe I should call it that. Absolutely ridiculous. We're doing all right here. We've got a nice little base going. Why am I shoveling it in? It's not like I don't need all that, is it? If you're wondering what this is off screen, by the way, well, not off screen, on screen, it's a little monitor that I use, look. If anyone's curious, there, so I can see myself and what I'm doing. Because I'm so far away from the camera, you can't get to it. And if there's anything wrong, like it's out of focus or anything like that, I can't see it from where you guys are. You guys are, as I said before, about two meters away. So if you're wondering what that is, it's not like a little TV. Well, I guess it is. But that's what it is. It's basically so I can see myself while I do this. I've got that quite decent. I think it's up to about here. So that, that is kind of where I said I wanted it. What I'm probably going to do is that even... This is the problem I've now got, right? I'm going to talk you through my dilemma. I want, what I usually do is when I do this on poles, if I'm just busy, I just need to be able to walk away. I need to have free hands. I'll actually tie the plant onto the pole roughly where I want it to be and then just pack it in at the bottom, right? So that in this case, the Monstera will be secured to this pole. However, this is really wobbly. And I don't know <laughs> if 
it's going to stay there. It's even worse, by the way, doing this on a table, which I really didn't think about this before I filmed this today. This is not really a plant I would have done on camera. I would have probably done this off camera and <laughs> just give you an update after I potted it because this is just not something you ever want to be filming at the same time. So what I'm going to have to try and do is tie this around here somehow, right? Somehow. Oh my God. And see if I can keep it there. Guys, this is absolute chaos. I've begun to use my teeth. That's where we're at with this. I have begun to use my teeth. Right, that's not completely horrific, but it's going to pull that pole. Honestly, once we've got it secured, the job will be much easier. I can't do much more than this. Right, I can try and show you what it looks like and I will edit this in. Give me one moment. Right, so what it looks like is this at the moment. So I'll try and move back a little bit. It's tied on the pole there and it's sort of hovered right above the substrate like that. The bottom is all lined with pond like such and there's the watering reservoir. So what we need to do now basically is just fill all this in like this, just spread it and make it look good. We'll throw some substrate right up to here. I would say these are a little bit high up, but honestly they've started off as aerials, so they don't really concern me. They're very woody, but as long as all this gets covered and everything, we should be okay. And then we will we'll tackle the pole separately because the pole is a little bit leany right now. But that's the phone update, so you can actually see what's going on in there. Right, okay. I am well aware, of course, that in the future this could be filmed on the floor. Totally, totally get you. Totally get you. This was a grave error on my part. I genuinely didn't think it would be this bad. More substrates. We're nearly there. I think we are a little bit straighter than we were. I think I will put this on the floor afterwards and give you an actual tour of this. So if you're sticking around for that, don't worry, you will get it. It's just we need to fill this up a little bit more first. And I didn't bring more pond. I need more pond. For anyone curious, we're our third bucket of pond. Yes, third. Seriously, those people that went on my community tab and said, hey, we'll watch you do anything. I'm holding you to this because this is a disaster. <gasps> Can't move it off. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh. <sighs> so in a word, this video, represents total chaos. I just lifted that off the table and completely forgot that obviously the weight would be quite significant with this much pond in the pot. And this is before water as well. So that was fun. But hey, let's just see how far we got with this plant because we're going to finish off the video down here because why not? Right, let's have a little look. Let's turn him around so you can actually see him better now, which is honestly, yes, how I should have filmed this in the first place. Oh goody, it's not quite straight. That's kind of him. He's not looking his best at all, is he? I'm gonna give him a little trim and I think we're gonna feed him, but that's how much pond he's got in. He could realistically have a little bit more in and I might add a little bit more after this video. So I'm looking at my monitor down here. That's probably very jarring, but we'll probably just see how that goes. He's actually quite secure, which I didn't expect. He's not bad. This here, I'm not quite happy with how floppy this has gone. I'm worried that I've uh, folded it or something, but I'm just hoping that he decides he's gonna be okay again, because this has gone so floppy, look. Look at that. That's not good. That wasn't doing that originally. So we'll rotate him back round, like so, so at least you can see some of him. And we'll give him a little trim, shall we? Just, just a little trim, just a little trim. As I was saying at the start of the video, I do have a life update for you guys. But obviously, today has gone so wrong. Um, I will save that for the next report with me, so you can expect that then quite a bit to talk about, I would say. Um, certainly would say that there is a significant amount to update you on, so I will be doing that. But I hope you have enjoyed me reporting this today. I'm going to feed it in a moment. And I honestly advise you to not get clever and not try and do things like this without the help of somebody else, because honestly, there was quite a few moments there where I could have lost this plant and just straight up snapped it. Um, obviously, the root stuff that happened, that's a little bit different. That is just, that was going to happen because obviously it was stuck inside that self-watering pot. And again, we could probably do a whole repot just talking about like self-watering pots and stuff like that. And, you know, are they any good? Blah, blah, blah. For now, I will just let you know that I am still for them despite things like that happening. Because honestly, if you're a little bit more 
attentive, that wouldn't happen. You would just be able to see these things. It's because I don't go up into the studio as often as I should because it gets way too hot. So I only go into water and to check on these guys. But even then, you know, sometimes that's once a week, which yes, that is absolutely ridiculous. <coughs> oh, sneeze. That is absolutely ridiculous, but there's not a lot I can do about it at the minute, which is obviously part of the life update I was going to give you. So please do stay tuned for that if you can. And honestly, if you're not into that kind of thing, you don't have to watch these videos, guys. I had a quite a few people complain to me very recently for talking about my life or talking about like the horse situation or something like that. And it's a little bit, I mean, it's very rude. Um, <laughs> it's a little bit entitled, really. It's like, th this is my channel, and it is named Kaylee Allen. It's not named such and such plants, you feel me? It is my channel, and I will post what I want, but to say that, like, none of my videos on my channel are about plants is a bit ridiculous, and I don't know where people get that from. I think people are just angry at me for whatever reason. But I will post things such as that because it's what I want to post. But again, I will go into that on the next video with an update on. Look at that. Honestly, oh, how sad is this, guys? I think I'm going to keep him down here, by the way, because clearly he's not doing his best upstairs and he, he could look really awesome. And I think he deserves to probably be upstairs. I'm going to get a little bit of pond and put a little bit extra in the bottom of that before I feed him. Now, I know what people might have commented, actually. It's just come to my attention now. But you may be thinking, oh, you're not rinsing your pond. And honestly, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. And what I will stop right now and tell you is that if you are using a self-watering pot, right, where you can't get to the recess. Oh, look at that, it's all scratched. You can't get to the recess in the bottom like the L-hole one can. You can't lift out the insert, absolutely rinse it. Because I don't know if you know this about Pond, but the amount of like just... <sighs> Kind of like a clay kind of powderiness comes off it, but that will sit in the bottom of your reservoir and it will just be minging forever. So I genuinely do advise that you rinse it through. Um, not ridiculously, just, just take the edge off it, you know, but I'm just not going to with this because I don't know how long it's going to be in this pot, this plant. We will see. Do you know what I mean? Um, if it's growing this fast, I'd argue it's not going to be in this pot for very long, but we, we shall see how it goes. Right, I'm feeling a little bit better about this now. I think that looks much better, don't you? Can you actually see it? Sort of, sort of. Let's, let's just, just, just accept that this video this week is a bit of a fail. I'm already filming this late, by the way, and I'll take an opportunity to apologize to my members for getting this out to you very late this week. Um, it's borderline not even early access. So next week I will get it out to you, you know, earlier and then you can see things earlier, but it's just, it's just all gone wrong, hasn't it? Right, those of you that are not familiar with self-watering pots, let's talk about them really quickly. This is a little, it's kind of like a little pipe, and in the bottom of it, it has a little polystyrene ball. And on top of that, there's almost like a straw. I don't know if you can see it in here. Hopefully you can. Let me take it up to the camera. You see it there? Yeah, there's a little straw here. Hopefully it's in focus, guys. And you can't see it in here, but there's a little sort of ball, and it floats, and obviously that's the water level, and it will tell you when it needs watered. That's just a little cap. And it just literally sits in a little reservoir here on Le Plant. And you just sit it like that. And that's how it looks. It looks awesome. So what I'm going to do is I've got some water, which I've got five litres of water in this can. But I might need more. But never mind. I'm going to add some feed into it. Oh, God, it's so heavy. I feel like just that tiny bit of pond just made it so much heavier. Right, I'm going to add some feed in. I need a couple of pets of this into my watering can. So that is two and a half mil, that's perfect. One, two and a half again. Oh, one squeeze is two and a half mil. That's beautiful, that worked out so nicely. There we go, into that there. Put the lid on that. Put that there, that's my feed. Right, quick agitation, but not much. It will just penetrate the solution. And then I'm gonna pour a little bit through I don't want to pour too much of it because honestly, I know a lot of this is new pond, so I don't necessarily want to pour it through and then get all that nasty clay in here. So I'm just going to pour it in. And I'm going to watch that little dial go up on the plant, which you might not be able to see. Depends how good it is. But I'm just going to keep filling that. And honestly, if we run out of water in this, then it, it's fine. I'm not too bothered about it. I'm not going to fill it more, I'll just leave it as it is. But you know what? Five litres? Quite a bit, isn't it? I think it's going to fill it and leave some left over, or will it just be perfect? 
That was genuinely accidental, but firsthand, the reservoir on these pots is five litres in these big ones. <laughs> there. That's how she look. She's not looking cute. I'm not gonna lie. She's not looking cute. She's looking okay. I wouldn't say it was the worst thing I've ever seen, but she's not looking cute. So I think it might be best for her to live down here for a little while and just see if this behavior stops. Um, she's been fed, so she's got all of her nutrients that she needs. What else does she have? She has a lot of humidity down here. I think we're in about 70% now, so that's not the issue. If you guys were thinking that might be the issue, that ain't it. Um, I genuinely think this is a sunlight problem. So I guess, PSA, be really careful with your variegated plants in the sun. We all do it. And this is a symptom. So yeah, I'm going to leave her here, mainly because I can't ever put her upstairs, probably, to be honest, with that weight. Which does mean that upstairs I will have to do some replacing, because now there's a bit of a gap. So, I think I've put this out on Instagram, but as of filming this video, I haven't looked at the result. But I'm pretty sure I asked you guys on Instagram, would you like to see a video of me rearranging the studio? Which might be a little bit difficult to film, but I'll certainly see what I can do, because I think that would be really good. I do think I will have things to repot prior to that. So what I will probably do is I'll film a few repot with me and then I can repot all the plants for the studio and then I will do another video of me basically rearranging everything in there and getting it looking quite sexy or as sexy as I can because if you think this one looks bad there are a lot of not so good looking plants in the studio but the new growth at the minute is looking really good and there's a lot of nice perky plants so let's let's see how that goes and I will let you know on Instagram or on the community tab as to what I've decided to do. That is it for today's video. It's not the video I had planned, but join me on my journey of just failure, I suppose. Right, I'm now gonna go to the gym and further exert myself. So thank you very much for watching this video. It's not what I had planned, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.